welcome to another vlog. We are one week and six days out. It's Sunday and my father-in-law and in-laws are here. He's gonna help me put together the big rack here. You can see yesterday I cleaned the floors. Quite a feat, very excited about it. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can put together this rack this morning and I'm, I'm so excited. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna take you guys along and see what we get up to less than two weeks out. Crazy, what is it? Seven plus six, 13 days out? Yay, very exciting, okay. Hopefully you guys will see um, a big old prodigy, prime prodigy rack right here soon. <laughs> All right, my father-in-law and I finished the gym. We finished. I'm so excited, but I had to sprint out because um, a cryotherapy place in Austin actually asked if I wanted to come out and try some of their recovery tools. So I said, yes, please. So I'm actually going to go do that now. It's 1.35, so I'll get there around 2. And I haven't done my workout or my cardio today. And I usually have those done way before now, but honestly, like I needed to capitalize on my father-in-law being in town because I would not have been able to do that with just me, definitely, and not me and my husband. Like we needed my father-in-law so badly. I'm so grateful for him. Wow. Um, but guys, it looks so good. I think I'm actually going to do my back and biceps workout at home tonight. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That's so cool. But I did have to take a little break while we were putting, because we started at about 7 a.m. I ate breakfast around like 6.45 probably. And we like basically got straight to work. And then, yeah, so I usually eat on Sundays if I'm doing four meals, which I, I do four to five meals every day. But Sundays, I typically do four meals. I usually eat at 7, 10, 2, and 6. So I ate at around 7. And I waited until like 11.30 to eat. I was so freaking hungry. So I had my sardine sauerkraut sandwich. I know, it sounds weird, but seriously don't knock it. So you try it with a little laughing cow cheese. It, sar I was having a conversation with my brother-in-law yesterday about sardines. He was like, so did your coach make you do that? Or is that like a choice? I was like, it's a choice because one, it, it's like tuna. It really is. Like sardines, the ones I get, are not like the full-on fish with like the skin and stuff. It's like literally like a tuna. Like it's the same kind of texture. Um, and they are a micronutrient powerhouse. So it was like, I want to treat my body good. And they it taste like tuna. I mean, like literally like tuna melts are a thing. And this is basically a tuna melt, but with sardines. But anyways, I had to stop and make one of those midway through at, and I was like oh I'm so hungry and then we stopped around like 1 15 probably and then I had to like you know start kind of giddy upping so obviously now it's almost two and I do have my protein oatmeal here um ready to eat I'm gonna take off this jacket ready to eat probably I think I'm probably gonna eat it right before the cryo place um which that means I'm eating two meals pretty close together. But if I don't eat it before, then I'll eat it after. And I'm going straight to the, the home gym after. And I don't want to be barfing up my food. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to probably eat it here soonish. But I just want to give you an update. Oh, man, and then yesterday we spent all day cleaning. That house, that house, cleaning that house is no joke. So two weeks and then one week and six days out just like exhausting myself with like a lot of meat <laughs> and, and meat that doesn't exactly add up to steps and I have a step goal of 10k steps per day so there's a reason why I think I, like, I was really hungry last night I was also hungry Friday though and I didn't do anything on Friday so there's that Okay, I'm at 3,700 steps today, but we got some work to do, but I'll catch you guys at the cryotherapy place because I'm going to show you guys what kind of treatments I'm getting. I've never gotten cryotherapy, 
race to recovery the lab and cryo so let's see how this goes all right red light therapy that's really cool yeah. awesome okay cool all right It's, uh, it's, this thing oh. is still kind of new, you know? I mean, it's there, but it's, a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah. People that are maybe scared to use them. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. I've seen but, some people like invest in them for their homes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it's cool. They're expensive. They're not super cheap, right? But yeah. This for, for you, for your body. Okay, all done. I did cryotherapy for the first time. Oh, that was crazy. I put on like headband and mittens and stuff on my feet and a face mask to like keep everything warm. That was awesome. So if you are in the Austin area, I said recovery the lab and cryo. It's the recovery lab and cryo. I had a, a moment. So yeah, the recovery lab and cryo in Austin. Amazing 10 out of 10. So we did uh, red light therapy with this like little vibrating machine for your feet uh, to kind of like get the, the blood flow going Then we did the Norma Tech boots um, for it's like a massage on your legs it feels really nice And then we did two minutes of cryo followed by another like minute and a half Like I went and after that I stood on that little thing that vibrates to just kind of shake everything out. So It was awesome. I do suggest now I'm gonna decide I have my pre-workout drink here I brought it with me just in case. It's almost three o'clock, which is perfect timing. Um, Cause I do want to get in my workout, but do I go home to my new gym or do I lift at my, my normal gym? I don't know. Okay, we'll decision see. made. I'm gonna go work out in my new home gym. So I stopped at HEB real quick to get top, top off on my collard greens and sweet potatoes. But now to go back home, I have a feeling I'll get roped into doing some stuff that's not my workout for a little bit, like organizing or something, but it's only 3.30, I'll get it in and then I will walk over to my, it's called the wellness barn, like our little community center. I'll do the elliptical for 15 minutes and then I'll walk back because I still need to get like 5,500 steps. So I was like, you know what, that'll, that'll be great and it's a beautiful day out. So. I like the plan, but we'll see how long I get roped into doing other stuff. Cause again, I guarantee that I won't be able to just go home and work out. Like my husband will have it to do for me. First home gym workout done. Back and biceps. I gotta go to the bathroom really bad. So <sighs> but real quick, I'm gonna show you guys. So mirror, hello. From the beginning, you walk in, weight pegs, machine, stuff in the back, adjustable dumbbells, bench. We in business. Now I am, my thing is loud, but ignore that please. <laughs> um, walking over to the wellness barn now, which is where all the cardio equipment is here. Okay, good. I have my little batch to get in, but yeah, walking over there now, get my 15 minutes of elliptical, but I figured I'd walk because why not? Get in some steps. Um, and then, yeah, so it's like, what, 6.45, and I've got, okay, I thought I had 5,000 steps, I only have 4,000, <laughs> still a lot. I normally eat dinner 45 minutes ago, but no dinner for this girl yet, because I've got stuff to do, I've got stuff to do. Honestly, today was so crazy with putting that thing together, and oh, I didn't tell you guys, we had to unput it together. We had to undo like a large part of it because dummy over here forgot that we had some additional attachments and didn't, I did not realize that those attachments needed to be like, I thought you put the machine together and then all the attachments go on. For some, yes. For, for some, no. Not the case. So my father-in-law is an actual saint. Like seriously, I don't deserve them. Oh, they're so wonderful. So wonderful. I know he's going to be hurting. We're both going to be hurting tomorrow. And 
I have glutes tomorrow. Which it, oh. hmm. I might should switch that to Tuesday to be I might should switch that to Tuesday to let my body recover a little bit because today and yesterday were tough on my body. Hmm, interesting thought. My glutes are still a little sore. They're not sore enough to where I would need to push glute day, but maybe I'll go on how I feel tomorrow. We'll see. Cardio, and now I'm at 8,000, almost 500 steps. Yay, that wellness barn is really a little bit of a walk. But I think I did decide officially that I am going to postpone my glute lift until Tuesday. It's just gotta happen. Um, as I'm walking, I'm like, I can feel the soreness. And again, it was hard on my body this weekend, so I'm like, okay, what's best for me long-term here? Like, to make sure that I'm maintaining my muscle mass and I'm able to get in, and one of the ways to do that is to get in your intense lifts, like to lift like normal. The way I'm gonna do that is by having more energy, not being this freaking tired <laughs> going into glute day. So glute day is moved to Tuesday and I don't like doing that because I have check-ins on Tuesday. So it's a very rushed morning, but it is what it is. That's what we're gonna do. Good morning. I'm tired. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, I didn't sleep very well last night. My whole body was just like, uh, aching. So, I tried to sleep in. I kind of, I kind of slept in till like six. And, yeah, I did my vacuums and abs and ate a pretty big breakfast. So I'm just going to do four meals today. And now it's 7.02 and I'm going to head to my big gym. Um, I could do, like I could go to the wellness barn again like and use their cardio equipment to do my 15 minutes of cardio and then do my yoga. But I really want to use the sauna. So I'm driving to the big gym to use the sauna. <laughs> Because my body just like is aching like crazy, so. <clears throat> and I can do my yoga tonight if I, if I really want to. Um, I usually have a like 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. meeting on Mondays, but it got canceled, yay. So I'll be able to, you know, get out of work and just go do that. Anyways, just want to update you that I am dead. Oh, and I don't think I filled in the blank yesterday of like the reason I went to the reason I worked out so late. Like when I got home, we I think I might have hit on it, but we realized I realized that there were three pieces of the machine that I had purchased like as an accessory. I thought you could just put on the machine. I didn't think that you would have to like incorporate it into the machine. So yeah, that was awful. We had to like take apart the whole machine and put it back together. <laughs> it was, I mean luckily it was pretty time efficient because we knew how to do it, but yikes, yikes. And so I didn't eat dinner until like, 7.45 and I was drinking water up until I went to bed basically. I stayed up late because I was like, I was pretty wound up. I couldn't go to sleep because I was pretty wound up, like excited and just lots of things going through my brain. So tonight, today the mission is treat my body right and let it chill out. I'm so glad I didn't go to the gym this morning because like you know when you wake up and your feet hurt, like the bottoms of your feet hurt to walk on, that was me this morning. So that is a big sign that like you're tired. Uh, so. Okay. Go to the gym now. Good morning, guys. 
guys, it's Tuesday, check-in day. Um, you'll have just seen my check-in video. I woke up to a really big new low, which should be exciting, but it's really like, I'm actually, um, it's not a leanness contest, it's not a skinny contest, it's a muscle contest, it's a balance contest, it's a symmetry contest, and we're not looking to hit new lows right now. Um, I officially hit my low weight from the last two preps on show day low. What is going on? What is, I don't know what is happening to my body right now. It's like, it's just shedding everything. Um, and my husband's been commenting the last few days. He's like, gosh, you just look so small. Like you look so small recently. And that's why, um, the last couple days I wasn't like I was a pretty normal weight, like in the one sixteens. Um, and today it dropped to the one fourteens. I took a rest day yesterday and like basically dropped some inflammation, which is like, I knew over the last few days, I was like, this weight is artificially high. It's like, this isn't good. So I'm really curious to hear what Jamie says. Cause I don't want to lose my muscle. And I think I'm in that, I think I'm in the furnace zone at this point. Eee. So I'm, I'm just happy I didn't hit like, start hitting low lows last week, like further away from my check-in. Like if I was going to hit a low, it, I'm glad it was today. So Jamie can like help immediately. <laughs> I mean, I could have messaged her in the meantime and she would have, you know, advised, but it's just convenient, I guess. So, hmm. and yeah, now we're, what, um, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, what, I'm 11 days out? Crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Predictions for what Jane's going to do. Okay. Right now I'm on 15 minutes of cardio, six days a week. I think she is either going to take that down to 10 minutes or remove or take it down to 10 minutes and remove a session or two or three. On the food side, I think she's going to up me by 10 to 20 carbs and five fat. I think she's going to make a big jump for me. That's my prediction. And then we start peak week check-ins on Monday, daily check-ins. So I also don't know what peak week's gonna look like. I think it's gonna look like my normal workouts um, because like we're not trying to like really peak me until Junior USA's, which is in four weeks. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm getting all confused. I'm one and a half weeks out from first show, three and a half, four and a half. Okay, so four and a half weeks. So we wanna save the like peak peak for then, but God dang, weight is just shedding. Um, not gonna lie, I did not want to see that 114 weight ever again. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, I mean, I look more muscular at this weight, so that's good. But I don't. I was hoping to have a much higher stage weight, which I might still, because we gotta fill out. Okay, I'll let you know what James is saying. I'm like a total struggle bus today, just like being totally transparent. Yesterday, I was so tired, I was so exhausted from the weekend, and then, which I know the extra, extra energy expenditure did not help with, you know, all the weight. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, I felt really yucky. I, I did get a headache again. Not a migraine, but a headache. So I felt just like a slug, and then today I'm, I'm dead. I'm so tired. Like I felt it in my workout. I pushed through, but it was, it was hard. So that's probably my hardest workout on prep thus far, but it's done. It's done. And made it out alive. Okay. Um, <laughs> two updates. One, I heard back from Jamie and two, I'll tell you about real quick. Um, I came back home to a water leak in our house from the gym. I was a little surprised. So yeah. We, but it's fine. I mean, our construction manager is awesome. He helped to get the resources aligned. It's covered under warranty. They had to rip out the carpet and take off the baseboards. I mean, it was a big, big water leak, but in a room that we don't have anything in. So one of the, the extra bedrooms. So that's good. Um, regarding my update from Jamie. Yeah. So <laughs> she decreased all of my cardio sessions to 
by five minutes uh, to 10 minutes per session, six days a week. Um, decreased my step count from 10,000 to 8,000. Increased, she, I was doing three high days and four low days um, at like, like mid 2100 calories is my high days. Low days were um, mid to low 2000. So I'm now at high days across the board or the same macros across the board at 270 carb, 50 fat and 170 protein. So she even increased my high days by five grams of fat. So <laughs> she said that I dropped more than uh, she wanted me to this week. Yep, furnace zone, heating up over here. <sighs> my, my friend Christy and I talk about this of just sometimes you hit that point where it's like, you just can't, like your body just burning through, like it just keeps burning the fat. And it's again, it's not a fat loss contest. It's a bodybuilding contest. So we're trying to pull back. Jamie wants me to check in again on Friday, see how things are looking. Um, and yeah, then peak week starts on Monday and I'll do daily check-ins with Jamie. So yeah, and she also asked about my hair and makeup tan. Um, hair and makeup I'm doing myself. I don't know if I should do straight or curly hair. And then tan, I'm getting sprayed by liquid sun rays on Friday before the show. And yeah, that's my first time not doing a DIY pro tan. And I wanted to test this out because I thought, eh, why not? And they're, they're gonna be the tanner at Junior USA. So I figure I might as well trial. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, Jamie definitely didn't want me to drop that much. Uh, oh, and I so felt that coming. I was so hungry and stuff. Yeah, I've never, I've actually never had a step goal less than 10,000 with Jamie, so kind of interesting. We'll see how this goes. Oh gosh, crazy, crazy. Body's a furnace. So now I get to add in more fat into my day. Um, wow, well, crazy and plan the next two days. But I guess it's easy now because I just do a copy and paste day to day. Easy peasy. Okay, well, I don't know. Nuts, guys, nuts. First day of getting buff is going down. So this is the pre-tan body scrub. So make sure I'm nice and exfoliated for show days so the tan sits nice. Oh, and keep the new decorations. Look cute. Yeah, I checked in at 114.9 on Tuesday, and then my weight jumped down to 114.5 or 6 the next day. So 
so yesterday. So I did check in with her again. Um, and she basically, and I, I did my left and my cardio in the morning. And I'm only on 10 minutes of cardio right now. But she was like, hey, like, don't do your cardio, basically. And I was like, oh, I've already done it. And she's like, okay. She's like, you know what, let's just hang tight here. Check in with me if your weight drops. And otherwise, I'll talk to you on Friday. So today, my weight did not drop. Oh, I was 114.8 on Tuesday. 114.5 yesterday and 114.9 today. Uh, and unfortunately, weird, like, my digestion is usually really good, but it was, like, not, things weren't moving today, so whatever is what it is. But I was like, even if things were moving, I don't think I would have gotten below 114.5, so that's good. It's very good. Don't want to do that right now. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, cruising as is, and, uh, I had a decent workout yesterday. I actually had a pretty good lift today, um, but I gotta say, I'm in kind of a funky mental headspace right now. Like, I don't know, it's like a restless feeling almost. It is not, work is not crazy busy this week, and I actually would rather it be crazy busy. Um, so I think that's contributed. I think that's a huge factor. That and my suit was stressing me out, yeah, like yesterday, really. Um, but Savannah got back to me so fast. Like I sent her an email last night and detailed everything that I was, you know, worried about, concerned about. And she replied back this morning early and, you know, laid out three options for us. So, yay. Yay. Thank goodness. Uh, so, I'm feeling better about that. I am feeling better about that. And I think, I think it's really work being slow that's throwing me off. So, yeah. Don't like that. I feel like I've been in kind of a mood the last two days. And I know hormonal fluctuations are going to start happening here, like, now through next week-ish. So that doesn't help. But it doesn't help. But I, I am very thankful, though, that I had a, a good glute lift this morning. That was great. Very happy about that. Just, you know, just when you're not feeling your 100%, sometimes your lifts suffer. But, no, my lifts felt really great this morning. So... I want to get over this mental funk or whatever. I feel like I'm just... Maybe I'm also getting anxious for the competition. Like, and not in the anxious I want to be. <laughs> not in the, like, excited anticipation. It's like a distracting feeling. So, I've got to figure my stuff out here. Because that's not okay. Oof. But, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the morning for check in, see how those go. Hopefully I'm looking fuller and I don't lose any more weight because again, that's not what we want. <sighs> okay, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hello, it's still Thursday, but I did want to come back on here and say that I think I'm in a bit of a better mood now. I, I ended up just writing things down of like just asking myself the question, like, why am I feeling anxious? And, you know, like, basically worked through anything that I was feeling and basically asked myself, is this, is this valid? Like, am, am I valid to really feel this way? Um, or am I projecting something or just overreacting, basically? And, yeah, I, I feel better. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing to be stressed out about. Like I'm putting stress on myself, 100%, 100%. So anyways, just wanted to add that tidbit in here. Help them. That self-reflection is very helpful. But anyways, now it's raining out. So it's kind of peaceful and I'm done with calls for the day. So, well, scheduled calls. So now on to doing some chores and hopefully enjoying the rest of the day.
Good morning. So I just finished my check-ins. It's Friday, so I'm about to actually edit this YouTube video. But real quick, um, <laughs> my weight dropped again. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I hit a new low again. Like my food is higher, my, my everything's lowered. So anyways, and I'm looking flat, so flat. Um, luckily my measurements haven't changed. I'm very thankful for that. But yeah, I'm interested to see what Jamie says. I think she's gonna up everything, probably take out my cardio. I'm doing 10 minutes right now, <laughs> six days a week. So yeah, and I think she'll probably bump food a little. That's my guess. Cause yeah, my body's just doing something weird, but okay. Um, I guess stay tuned for the next video for peak week to see how that looks because that does start tomorrow, Sunday-ish. Um, but yay, right now we are eight days out and I'm, I'm getting really excited. Really, really excited. I got my suit all figured out, so I sent in, like I said yesterday, I sent in the bottoms of my like newish suit to get altered and then I'm getting a new suit just in case that one's not ready. So <laughs> yeah, Angel Competition Bikinis, thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, well, guess I'll catch you in the next one for Pink Week. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe before I forget and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.